rather than clicking on them. Vitals. Like, I just, um, to find out their traits. Pink because you have none. Thank you. I don't have to click on everyone, because, yeah. Uh, bio. Duplicate, ugly trier. Like, how do I find out if there's a snorer? Okay, no one is, so that should be okay. Right, the skills tab. Ooh. Oh, this is new. Well, new to me. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's Q Cirks. Hey, thank you very much, Q Cirks. Got incorrect, incorrect Nick previously. Spacebo is a great answer. What? Do I hear an alarm? Sorry, I was tabbed out, and I I felt like I heard an alarm. Maybe someone was just cheering. This game is making me panic, you guys. You know if you had a snore, yeah. Because I remember that before. I mean, you'd see them, and you'd see the other people getting upset, right? Why are, why are you so... Oh, chilly surroundings. It's 22 degrees. It's 22 degrees. Why are you chilly? Was there just a pocket of cold air for a second? Things will go wrong slowly. Oh, did they go into the water? Oh, okay. You can climb this. It's probably worth building another ladder here. I don't know if it goes faster or not. Oh, yeah, they might be going down to grab this stuff. It was chilly at night. Got wet when... Oh, she went down and built the ladder and then got wet. I see. All right, Otto's going to make power. And microbe musher. No fabrication cued. Right. So we have to tell you what you can make. Mush bars are preferable to starvation, but only barely. Lice loaf tofu. Oh, forever? If you've got this stuff. We'll do that for now, anyway. And now... Yeah, no material. That's okay. We still don't have an oxygen diffuser. We pop this. We're still... Ooh, coal. Interesting. I'm not gonna rush the diffuser. Oh, my God. Mush bar is made of dirt and can cause problems. Oh. Now, can I change the order? Of... Can I change the order of these jobs? Much far as cause them to spend more time in the latrine. Oh, and you only have one latrine that can be a problem. The only thing you can make, yeah, I guess that's true. Unless we went and, like, we can get um, the meal wood over here. Only the mush bars when you have no food left. It would be nice to... I mean, I guess what I'll do... Is this going to do a queue? It's going to make one? Or is this going to make sure we already always have one? Only queue much when you're low on food. All right. I research farming. Yeah, we do have to set up our research lab. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and just clear a little bit more space over here. Because that'll let us mine a little bit more algae. Um, what happens if you mine the oxalate? Is that bad? Or acceptable. Oh, there is a copy button. How convenient. I'm going to set up a second latrine, because it seems like the sort of thing that might be handy. Oh, you lose half of it. Okay, so it is bad. I'd say just bridge out over here. I kind of like that idea, actually. Oh, and that copy button works too. Swell. So we'll just, we'll just do something like this. And then we'll G out... Some stuff. Yes, he's complaining about being cold again, and I don't think he got into the water. I mean, now he's going down here, but... Right, temper overlay. Good point. Option, power, temperature overlay. Everything seems okay. You should leave one square on each side of the ladder. Well, uh, what do you mean? Do you mean have the ladder stick up or empty down there for oxygen? Leave one square on each side of the ladder for oxygen. For airflow. Gas travels poorly through ladders. 
and they can jump across to the ladder. So... Just do this, and they'll be able to hop across this? They can hop one square. Oh, that is useful information! You can get, like, um... We're gonna get a different tile type later on. What this is? That, um... Allows, like, just venting and air go through, right? Just until you get the air perm block. Yeah, there we go. Hatch free food. So, do we attack it? Ooh, Pab Pablo Rasta! Food, coal. Attack this critter. No. Wait, hatches are for coal, not food. Don't attack ranch. Really? They poop coal? Oh, wow, that's amazing. Pablo Rasta! Uh, I know you're working in Russian, so here's how to say it's vodka and bears. Um. Um. Sorry, I don't read, like, the Cyrillic alphabet. And even if I did, I don't know if it would help. Uh, been too long, Mr. Quill. Keep it up. Pablo, it's great to have you around, man. If they're strong enough, do they poop diamonds? <laughs> if they're really comp um, uh, constipated, they poop diamonds. Get a fireman's pole later for da faster down movement? Nice. This guy's angry. No, he's happy. Oh, he's pooping! Excellent. Okay, okay, okay. Um, cooking ingredients, edible. All right, so we got food, so we don't have to worry about making the, the food here. Bill is like, okay, uh, right, we can't do the micro musher. That's fine. Lady can tame animals so she can produce more and make more eggs. Yeah, so we're expanding this, so we're consuming a lot more of this. Uh, we've got a little bit more oxalite there, but that will be the end of it. So it feels like... Um, it might not be a terrible idea to build the auction diffuser. Does it need power? It doesn't look like it. Uh, requirements. Algae. Oh, it does need power. So, I'll build it over here. I don't see the little plug icon, but presumably it's going to need there. Get the algae from the roof. Yeah, there's a bunch of algae that we can get. Um, they can reach... It's something crazy. Like, is it like six tiles or something crazy with their, like, their beam? What I'm going to do is I'm going to flag all this to be mined out. We'll have to, like, probably ladder some of this stuff, but... Four tiles. Is that it? Okay. So if they can get up here, they can do some of this. Make sure we got plenty of algae. Flag icons only show on the power map mode. <laughs> there it is. Yep. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a research station over here. I'm also going to go and put a door here and a tile there so it counts as its own room. This is using up a lot of material, but I don't know. No waste liquid pit on the left side. Oh, right. If people accidentally piss themselves. So, instead, it's like... I guess what I can do is just jack up the, the pneumatic door like this to make the lip, right? I don't even think it needs the one gap, but... Okay. Just watch your step when going through doors. Um... And you do have the wire job yet, so someone just has to get around to it, which is fine. Entombed. Oh, stuff fell!
something like that. And see the sand layer above algae you're digging. That's going to bury your base when you've mined it out. So all the sand here is going to fall. Okay. <gasps> oh, are we getting a new duplicate? New printables are available. Is that it? Choose a blueprint? Wait. Printables available. Choose a blueprint. Okay, so we can get a new person or we can get a care package of pip eggs. We should get a new person, right? Grease monkey... Yeah, and then we're going to start wanting to prioritize people to various roles at some point, too, yeah? I should probably rename them. Or reject all. Does it re-roll? Uh, the plus seven athletics. Oh, for run speed or agriculture for cultivating plants. Rename them all red shirt. Here, yeah, let's do a rename here. Can I re... I, I'm assuming I can rename them after they're, they're picked up, but... I'm going to grab TF2. Brum, brum, brum. Print out TF2. Brum, brum, brum. Skill point earned. These duplicates have skill points that can spend new abilities. Oh, skills. Do we do it from here or do we do it from the skills interface? Ah, skill point. Is this what you... Why was that highlighted? Okay, no, it's just a mouse thing. Um, go away. So, you have... Select hat. Oh, we can get hats later. You are good at athletics, so you can run faster. I'm wondering if we should just do things like give you the improved carrying. Only the best suit. You revamp the skills, you need to assign the skills to a work. Or just dig faster. There's going to be a lot of digging early on. TF2 is going to want to wear the fanciest hats. Yes, you're right. Very firm mineral mine. Oh, without this, can we not dig through very firm materials? It seems like digging is a good one early on. Many skills enable things. Hard digging is needed to dig granite, for example. Yeah, okay. And then abyss of light and so on. Okay, we're going to make sure we've got... He's bad with strength? Oh, minus three strength. Shit. But he's got a bonus to machinery. Maybe we just stack more machinery. Go digging. This is a few people. I mean, this will counter the penalty to strength. We don't... You can operate the power wheel. Oh, with athletics. Yes. So, I mean, improved strength gives us plus two strength. But hard digging... Oh, gives us plus two excavation. For some reason, I thought it was strength. I'd go with carrying. Strength is just for carrying. So this gives us strength and carrying capacity. Keep an eye on morale requirements. Oh, this is a little hard over here. Cannot learn. Missing a skill. As they get skills, they also get higher and higher morale. Oh, I see. So TF2 is going to need more stuff to make them happy. Better trained workers expect better living conditions. That's why you need decor in rooms. Interesting. Um, no one's got any excavation stuff. All right, I'm going to go hard digging. Because this unlocks the ability for someone, at least, to, um, to be able to pop some stuff. Oh, wait. Cur oh, this is their morale. Okay. Current morale... One need is one. They have morale four. Their need is zero. I see. Okay. Now you can give them a hat? Ah! Oh, the heart's probably what they want to learn, you think? Okay. Um, does the hat do anything by itself, or is it just cosmetic? Do you need to wear the hat to do this? Or is it just, you've done this, so it unlocks the hat? They get a bonus to morale by doing the hat, the task the hat is assigned to. Heart skills give them morale, which offsets the increased need. TF2 is interested in suit wearing, which is why he wants the suit skill. Okay. Okay. 
so, um, not skills, but priorities. So, attacking life support, toggling, tidying. Where's digging? Digging. Aha! So, we're going to make digging a very high priority for TF2, because... That is what TF2 is specifically good at. All right. Whiskey and chocolate from the Dreyfus. Thank you very much uh, for all your hard work. Been watching many of your vid YouTube vids, which got me back into EVE. Ooh. Oh, I record another EVE um, um, tutorial. I'm just, I haven't made it live yet because I'm debating re-recording it because I feel like it might be able to be done a little cleaner and better. So we're going to, we're going to see. We're going to, we're going to see. Um, but this one is about like how to make your ship fittings and stuff like that. Um, you know, how to compare equipment, how do you assemble things? Because, you know, for most of it, I say, like, oh, you can you can look up ship fittings on Google. But, um, first of all, that's... Did you just collapse? Oh, yeah, you've got narcolepsy. Um, you know, it's like, okay, sure, but what if you want to make your own? And not only that, what if... Uh, how do you compare different builds that people have made in EVE? You know, we're like, what's better? Why do they choose this equipment instead of that equipment? So, it's going to be a whole video about that. Uh, RimWorld has also been recorded, and actually... Did I not make an episode live yesterday? I may I may have forgotten to hit a button. Uh, I've got like I don't know um, five, maybe four episodes recorded and ready to go. So there's RimWorld coming. I just may have forgotten to hit a button. The right lighter doesn't have a gas gap, right? Which is a thing we have to remember, which is hard to do. Okay, but it's still not gonna have a gas gap. So I need... Oh, yeah. That is going to be really hard to remember to do. Ah. Yeah, when you do over here, it'll it'll let it flow, but we may as well do it because it'll still help things flow a little bit better. How's our food? Twelve thousand calories still left. Still waiting for these cables to be built. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we don't want to mine out the oxygen, or we want to let it come out organically. Cycle three report ready. Nice. I like that. Oh, I see. Two people were using it at the same time, and th then one person started using this, and then the other person didn't wash their hands. I see. It's kind of annoying that, like, the dig tool... Is there, like, a deconstruct tool? There is. X. So I'll expand this out a little bit. Move the outhouses over here and then put a second wash basin. Oh, you're right. I have an extra person. Um, um not there. B. All right. Oh, no, that's for the thing itself. I know B. All right. Selected building. Excellent. If you're new to the game, a good starting thing is to dig a decent sized hole to let your CO2 settle in and relieve some of the gas pressure. Well, so we do have some of this. It's Bob! We do have some of this, so presumably some of the CO2 will, like, accumulate down here. We can go a little bit more, too. Coal, copper ore. We've got plenty of metal ore right now. Bob! This is basically RimWorld minus oxygen. But I can't see the game resulting in as many interesting colonists. Still fun to keep watch. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if people can, like, lose body parts and things in, in Oxygen Not Included, which is, you know, some of the drama llama in, uh, in RimWorld. But it is awfully nice. But for now, after that, the CO2 will build up. Water Reservoir is a good CO2 spot. Yeah, so presumably we might want to dig out a little more here later on so that more CO2 can, can funnel down here. Fair enough. Okay. 
Um, boom, boom. Let's do some of that. And then this, I want you to... Um, yeah, so I can deconstruct, but I can't just move. Alright, I guess it's worth doing that. And then I'm going to build you here. And what happens if I... Can I... No, I can't tell you to build right here right now. Okay. Put the gas pit on the other side. And that might happen here. Like, as we dig down. I know, the double ceiling is kind of annoying me. We were just, you know, putting things down willy-nilly. I suppose what I could do is... Um, actually, to keep a little lip here, what we could do is just do that. Just drop that down. Always make new ones. Well, I'm not going to destroy this one, so. I don't know what's going to happen to these beds. Do they fall down? Am I going to have to reconstruct it? It won't drop, so they simply won't be usable. But does, what I like is that you do get all your material back. I guess that's the solution to, you know, not um, not having just a move tool. Now... we got some poop just lying around over here. Is that going to get picked up or stored or cleaned? I know there's like a sweep. Move debris to storage, mop liquid spills, harvest plants. Do these happen automatically? Oh, yeah. I will still suggest almost never this early make walls. Okay. That, that may be that may be a good thing. It may be floors for faster movement, and I'll worry about that. Uh, so I'm going to grab this, make a copy, and do that. May need to research a compost hope. Uh, oh! Oh, I have to actually select a research. So is that... Okay, and there's a button over here. Okay. Farming. There's our compost heap. I think we'll probably do farming first. Miscellaneous room. So, like a research thing. Yeah, that's not a room. This is a latrine. Excellent. Barracks. Okay. Compost is good. Right side of your toilet may be a bit down. Yeah, we can put another door here and then have, like, the compost pit. Are you floating around? Oh, it puffed. I guess so. Fluted oxygen. Mm. And, yes, the wash basin. I can't set direction now, I don't think, right? Doesn't seem like I can. Okay. Puffs are good, boys. Compost pits generate heat, so keep away from stuff. Okay. Do they generate CO2 or anything like that as well? One more vertical movement in their base. Do we rather build up and down rather than left and right? Is that what you're telling me? Hey, Ruby doing some research. Excellent. TF2 having a bit of a run. So what we'll do, uh, maybe maybe when I level up people, I'll name them for the first time or something like that. I mean, I assume you get skill points just as you do stuff. I don't know, I should rename some people now. Let's grab a let's grab some subscriber names from chat. So auto is going to be Cass. You know what? I like the the, the number because it gives us a, that like duplicate sort of vibe. And instead of being Lindsay, you're going to be uh ice ice bear? Is that what it is in German? Are you an ice bear? Like a polar bear? Actually, is that literally the German word for polar bear? I'm probably completely wrong as to what the deal with this is. Uh, and then we're going to have P Pito Jones. It scrolled really fast, so let me know if I made a typo. Database entry. Oh, maybe if I, if I don't rename them, do they have, they have stuff in there? It's their to-do list. All right, I see. Not quite how that's spelled. Okay, I, I spelled your name right, but you're saying Ice Bear. That's not how it's spelled. Okay. Ice, oh, Ice Bar with the, uh, the umlauts. Okay, cool. All right, picking up some material and things. We still have a little bit of poopiness over here. Uh, 
Right, so I guess what I'll do is I'll keep making these lips everywhere. Like this. And yeah, we'll ma maybe make a little compost room over here when we get the text. And thank you very much. So, with the wash basin, is it every time they walk by it, they would wash their hands? Or, because I remember there was somewhere where I could set a filter for how dirty things were. I don't remember where that was before they washed their hands. Every time they walk by, they wash their hands if they have germs on them. Ah, the germs overlay. So for this, there's no sense right now in them having their, their wash 